Hey, what's up, guys? It's like 2.50 a.m., and it's dark in my room, so I have to use my laptop as lighting for this video. And I'm trying to be as quiet as possible. Now, you guys probably came across this article. You've probably seen it everywhere on, like, different news places. But the title reads out, Google won't fix security bug that's in almost a billion Android phones. And I found it so weird because the direct attack basically attacks Google. And besides the fact that I'm a huge supporter of Google, you know, for those who are not knowledgeable, this is why I'm making this video. There is a lot to play when it comes to Google, handset manufacturers, and carriers. And this is where I find... Um, you know, I find it to be a little bit odd, strange, that only Google is being attacked. And Google hasn't responded to this yet. So, while it's easy to sit there and say, oh yeah, Google's being lazy, they don't want to cater to their consumers, it goes a lot deeper than what you think. Getting updates is just the icing on top of a cake. There are layers underneath that icing that people just don't understand when it comes to getting software patches and updates. Uh, to easily explain this, I could honestly agree that Google is at fault if every device ever made that houses Android was running pure vanilla Android, in other terms, AOSP then you know it would be much more easier for Google to just do a software patch or whatever um, but that's not the case Samsung wants TouchWiz on their devices HTC wants Sense LG wants, wants its Optimus UI and Motorola kind of goes to the stock but then again has still has some of its own stuff on it these are key things that play in fragmentation, which is a huge annoyance in the Android community. This is the reason why that, you know, carriers push this, this idea that, you know, they want manufacturers to work on a flagship rather than working with manufacturers to create updates for their uh, list of Android devices that they have. And this ultimately is the reason why we have this issue. Yes, there is a security issue in older versions of Android that has been fixed apparently in Lollipop. But not every device is promised Lollipop. As a matter of fact, this is the absolute reason why most people who are Android enthusiasts choose to go Nexus. With a Nexus device, you're guaranteed updates. Yeah, at least three. Obviously, you guys can tell that, you know, with KitKat that came out, just about every Nexus was, or was, a, a, you know, allowed, not allowed, but was able to update to KitKat. Even the Nexus 1, I believe. And the hardest one was the Galaxy Nexus. And this is, that, I mean, that's the annoyance of things. When it, Besides that, flagships get most of the attention, and the rest of, um, Android handsets out there are maybe given one update if that which is why you know most uh, techies like myself and people who get into it to become techies for the ultimate reason of rooting their phone is so they can update their phone to a ROM that was built by a developer that basically brings that particular phone from where it's at stock to the latest version of Android or close enough to it and you know it's it's just it's a tough break really I mean like I said Google hasn't responded about this but you really just can't blame Google for it like I said if every Android device out there was basically running AOSP and the manufacturers actually had the manpower and the labor, the labor uh, hours, I guess you could say, 
for a development team to continuously work on just about every device that they've pumped out of their factories. We really wouldn't have this issue of, you know, Google basically, if they are saying that they're not going to uh, update billions of Android devices that are affected by the security, the security bug. And really, you know, like I said, it's not really Google's fault. Like, what can they do about it? You say that they can build a, a patch, but then again, it's still, you know, it's up to the carriers to push that out. Google doesn't push out updates on its own. It goes through by carriers. Okay, Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, and Sprint, they push out the updates. All right. Um, Google can only release out to what they cater to, which is, you know, their Nexus line of phones and uh, Google Play Edition devices. You know, but then again, I mean, if, if it's a carrier branded phone, it's up to the carriers to push them out. So that's something that I think, you know, really wasn't touched in the article. And of course, the manufacturers, thanks to HTC and their bridge of how they update devices. So, you know, they were trying to calm people down with that. It does show that there's uh, three routes that are involved when updating a device. There's, you know, the unlocked version. There's, uh, I believe it was the international version. Um, and then there is a carrier specific version and the carrier specific version went through a whole lot uh, because there was a lot of back and forth between the manufacturer and the carrier and uh, I, that's why with with uh, carrier branded phones it takes so long for them to update them is because there's a lot of back and forth before they actually both agree on the update and then the update goes to a phase where it's pushed out over the air so in closing this video just want to let you guys, you know, be aware of exactly how this stuff works, so that you know, since people are susceptible to panics and scares, like the Facebook scare and all that stuff, and whatever, you know, people are easily uh, convinced. I just wanted to get the word out. So, um, yeah, 2:57 a.m. I need to go to sleep. I'm sorry, it's so dark, and um, yeah. Thanks for watching this video. Good night.